Hi everyone, this is Grace from Yeser Chemicals and welcome back to our channel. Since we have started uploading product formulations regarding home care, personal care, and detergent formulations, we are getting a lot of requests to formulate another product and one of them is fabric softener. So for fabric softener, we will introduce their main ingredient which is ester quat, our cationic surfactant, and FS222, its cationic thickener. So if you want to know more about the features of these main ingredients, its process steps, tips and tricks, and if you want just to have assistance regarding your existing formulations, you can contact us at yesrchem.com. To dive deeper in this product formulation, just stay tuned and watch the next part of this video. At Yeser Chemicals, we produce high-quality coconut-based green surfactants like CAPD, CAO, CDEA, CMEA, and so on. Through strategic partnerships with other leading manufacturers, we supply a comprehensive range of chemicals for home care and personal care products. We offer a one-stop solution, ensuring you have everything you need from one source to produce top tier home and personal care products. First, let's introduce our ingredients for our fabric softener. The first thing is the ionized water, that's our solvent. Next is our EDTA disodium. This will be our chelating agent for our formula. Next is our cationic surfactant, which is ester quat. So ester quat will provide the softness and antistatic properties for our formulation. Next is our thickener, which is FS222. FS222 is a cationic rheology modifier, which is specially designed for fabric softeners and fabric treatments. So this has effective stabilization, optimized thickening, and seamless compatibility with our cationic agents. So this will ensure that our formulation with ester quat will provide no separation or inconsistencies in the product. Next, for our additives, we will have our preservative, which is MIT and CMIT. Then, we will have citric acid to maintain our pH range between 3.5 and 4.5, which is essential for fabric softeners. Next is our desired fragrance. And lastly, we have our dye. So, let's get started. So, we will prepare a 200 ml batch for our product. And now we will add our deionized water. Let's weigh about 186.7 grams of deionized water for our formula or 93.35%. Next, we will add our chelating agent, EDTA disodium. Let's add 0.2 grams of this or 0.1% for our formula. Stir this until fully dissolved. Next is our ester quat. First, we will heat up this uh, water solution to effectively dissolve our ester quat or cationic surfactant. So, we will put it in a water bath between 50 to 60 degrees Celsius. This is the optimal temperature where ester quat is safe for dissolving. Now, let's weigh about 5% of this ester quat or 10 grams for our solution. Fabric softeners are designed to coat your clothes with a thin layer of cationic surfactant such as this ester quad. These molecules reduce friction between fibers, leaving fabrics feeling soft, smooth, and easy to iron. So they also neutralize static electricity, which ensures your clothes don't stick together or cling to your skin. The key properties for formulating a fabric softener is that it needs to have a softening property. So ester quad will provide that for us and the viscosity which will be provided by our FS222 which is specifically designed for cationic surfactants like ester quat. So this will provide a creamy consistency making it easy to pour and use without being too runny or thick as a fabric softener. So let's just stir this well. 
Also, with a pH range of 3.5 to 4.5, the fabric softener will be gentle on fabrics and safe for skin contact. So this slightly acidic nature helps maintain fabric strength over repeated washes also. For fabric softeners, it must have a fragrance retention, wherein our softener locks in pleasant fragrances, leaving your clothes smelling fresh for a long period of time. Now that our ester coat has been fully dissolved, let us add our thickener, which is FS222. For effective dissolving of FS222 in our solution, we will first disperse with water. So let's weigh 0.75% of this or 1.5 grams for our formulation. You can see that it has a creamy, consistent, uh, rich texture, which is desirable for fabric softeners. You can also opt for alternative thickening agents such as HEC or HPMC, but the consistency will be different compared to FS222. We will now add our preservative, which is MIT. Let's weigh 0.2% of this or 0.4 grams for our population. Next is our fragrance. Let's add 1.2 grams or 0.6% for our formula. We will add this one. Now let's check the pH of our formula. So, so the pH for fabric softener should be between 3.5 to 4.5 so to ensure that the fabric softener is gentle on fabrics and safe for skin contact. As you can see the result for the pH, it is between the optimal range for fabric softener. So let's pack this fabric softener. So this is how easy a fabric softener can be made by using the appropriate uh, cationic surfactant and thickener to achieve our desired viscosity and the desired pH range to ensure that our uh, fabric softener is gentle on fabric and safe for the skin. Thank you for watching our tutorial. Stay tuned for more insights into our formulation choices and their benefits only here at Yeser Chemicals.